Hey guys, what's up? It is nasty outside and I've got a bunch of new gear lately, so I'm going to show you what I'm running. One of them is just about to come out. Uh, actually, it's coming out today, so I'm excited to show you that as well. Um, first things first, obviously, I'm under the weather and we got like five inches of snow outside. So yeah, you're getting a gear review. Uh, we are not going hunting in five inches of snow with a cold. So most important thing is um, bench because that's coming up real soon. Um, competition season's right around the corner. And I think what I'm gonna do this year is run the M3. Now, every other year I've said I'm gonna run the M3 and I always go, end up going back to my M2 Godzilla. Um, that I won RMAC with, and it's treated me really well, always keeping me in the top 10. There is, however, potentially some new ammunition coming out that I'm really stoked about. Um, little teaser there, I can't tell you anything about it except for the fact that if I'm shooting that, I'm going to shoot it out of the M3. Uh, it's going to be awesome. So, little teaser there. Now, what's coming out today, what you guys can actually order today if you want, and I highly suggest you do, is this new awesome rail. It's called the Loki. Um, if you guys are familiar with uh, mythology at all, you'll know that Loki was the name of a shapeshifter. And so that's exactly what we got going on here. So it looks a lot like Air Marksman's previous rail, the Anvil. But this was heavy and made for bench. And this, they lightened up and made it more for hunting. Although I think it would work for bench still awesome. But the cool part is that the trigger guard stays. And then with these bolts, this part right here is swapped out so it can literally shape shift. And it is rock freaking solid. You can't move that. Um, the other thing that I love about the Loki rail, biggest thing, I'm gonna loosen this up here. See how loosey goosey that is, right? Now, balanced. Again, completely loose, balanced. And the reason why we're able to do that now with the Loki is because that rail comes all the way back here. That arc of Swiss goes a long way back. And it does with this one too. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome way to get your gun balanced. Now this is like 1.4 pounds versus 2.2. So quite a bit of weight reduction. The Athlon uh, Ares ETR it's definitely going to be my choice and the reason why I'm going with that this year is because it goes all the way up to 60 power. I'm not going to shoot it at 60 power but man I can tell you there's been multiple times where I'm sitting at the bench and I can't see the dang hole in the paper and I actually almost blew it um, on the time that I won and took another shot because I couldn't see the hole in the, in the target. So that extra mag is gonna come in handy when I'm done shooting and checking my, my target. I think I'm probably gonna end up shooting at around 30 power, um, but that remains to be seen. Um, the rest of it is pretty much how I had this rifle last year. I mean, the backbone, Air Marksman backbone is, is standard on mine now. It's a Sabre Tactical Buck Pad, gotta have that. Um, a good suppressor, I like to shoot suppressed. So, those things are staying the same. I believe that I'm just going to leave the Loki on there and I'm going to take my anvil and transfer it up to Godzilla. And then that way I've got two really nice Arca Swiss setups ready for bench um, to be determined which one's being shot because, like I said, it depends on what kind of ammo we're going to be running. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, which is super awesome because I'm doing PRS, the tripod caddy by Armageddon Gear and their bio pack for the chest break. I kind of feel silly sitting here doing a video like I'm an operator or something. That's, that's not what this is for. It's just the most absolutely practical way to use your binos. And I really like that I don't have to mess with a bungee or anything like that. It's magnetic to the back, keeps the optic secure. And the optic would also fit right in the tripod caddy, but I use it for, you know, my, my notes. Um, this folds down to a little table. You can hold pens, ammo, um, you know, your binos, range finder. It's pretty awesome. So those are two pieces of kit that I really, really enjoyed having. And then related to that is the binos themselves. 
Um, I've had Steiners forever, and I just swapped to the Vortex. And the reason why is because I got the Fury uh, with Advanced Ballistics, the Fury 5000s, and um, this is absolutely amazing. So I literally <laughs> look through here, I range, it gives me a, a shooting solution that lines up with my Kestrel so well, but I'm actually going to sell my Kestrel. Um, the Kestrel is amazing, but this just kind of takes them both at the same time. And I know guys would be screaming saying, hey, you know, you can link the Kestrel to that. You'll get even better data. Um, but I don't think I really need it for the ranges that I'm going to be shooting uh, in PRS out to like 200 yards. So speaking of PRS, already told you how I've got this. I've got this. I got rid of my Panthera. Um, my Panthera was one of the early ones, and I kept having issues with it leaking. So I got a King, and not only does this bad boy not leak at all, um, it's one of the most accurate air rifles with a slug that I've ever fired uh, in my entire life. I'm shooting the Zans out of it, to one eights, 30.5 grains at 960 feet per second. And it's an absolute laser. Uh, I put a post on Instagram, and basically what I found with this gun, those slugs, is I can shoot this as fast as I want, and I get really good groups. Like, really good. Or I can shoot it with a, a three-second delay in between. Probably more like a second and a half, because it's just me counting. One, two, three, pow. And it goes to literally one hole. So, I'm going to use this with the three second delay or second and a half delay in between specifically to slow myself down and because it's the most accurate slug rifle I own. Yeah, my main issue during PRS is usually shooting way too fast. So that was that, I guess. Um, thinking that it's, you know, time's running out or it's an animal on the move because that's what I am, I'm a hunter primarily. And if I took the extra time, like the pros do, uh, I would be doing a lot better. I'm also, for the first time, going to be shooting 22 caliber instead of 25 caliber. Um, and that's specifically because Justin Welch yells at me every year that the 25 is too finicky and stop using it. And he's right. I mean, I had to retune during the competition. So uh, with the 22 cal, you know, it's going to handle those temperature swings throughout the day a whole lot better. Another thing that I'm really excited about is the Yokozuma suppressor with the quick detach. Now, I still like the big fat Romans for, you know, my bench guns, but for a hunting gun, man, do I really like this. And the fact that it's quick detach is pretty awesome. Um, and it's stackable. So you can decide how many baffles you really need. With this rifle in particular, it's kind of quiet already. I don't need that much sound suppression. Um, but it's there if you wanted. You could really take this thing out. And uh, the quick detach is just so cool. Makes you feel kind of like you're in a James Bond movie. So obviously, I've gotten some other gear as well um, throughout the year. But those are the things that I'm focused on right now because the Northeast uh, Air Gun Classic is coming up. And that is an awesome competition. Watch out for registration to start. Can't wait. And the, um, the, the rail... Like I said, it's brand new, so you can get that today if you want. It's the Air Marksman Loki. Uh, I highly recommend getting it because, again, you're going to be able to change this out to whatever you want as they come out with cool stuff in the future. And even if you never did change it, I really appreciate having the, the lighter weight for hunting. And as soon as the snow clears or I feel better, I'm getting out there and uh, going to slay some birds. But, yeah, the... The 60 power, I think, is going to be a game changer for me, and I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the rail. I've wanted one of these things for so long. I'm so happy to finally have one, and then, then this setup for hunting. I mean, if you watch my videos, you've seen me using it hunting, um, but uh, also for PRS, I really like it. And it sits, the thing I like about this one so much, the Armageddon Gear one, is that, you know, the Vortex one is like kicked out like that all the time. This one actually just sits there correctly. Um, and it doesn't get in the way of the rifle, so it's awesome. Plus, you know, the easy open, I could go on and on about it, but um, it's a handy piece of kit, and I highly recommend it. 
you guys got any questions, throw them down in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. Catch you on the flip side. Three, two. Done. Done, done. <laughs>